Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. It has finally happened. Oh my god. Steve Cohen is the new owner of the New York Mets. I wasn't sure if this day would ever come. I mean, like, I'm just so incredibly happy. Excuse my hat hair. Just trying to go to City Field to record this video, but they wouldn't let me in. Security card's very nice. They just couldn't let me in. I wanted to film it in front of the Apple, but couldn't do it. Anyway, we're back in the apartment to talk about Steve Cohen being the new owner of the New York Mets. The Wilpons, the coupons, the frauds that they are. They are gone forever. Aaron Hernandez. And to see you later. The Wilpons are gone. They are no longer really associated with the New York Mets. It's just a great day. This is a day that I had, I did not ever think I would see coming. I have not lived in a time where the Wilpons have not owned the Mets. In their time of owning the Mets, they've spent money really like once, 2006, and what do you know? They almost made the World Series. But pretty much after the Bernie Madoff stuff, They've become the coupons, the cheapest owners in baseball. They owned a New York market team and refused to spend any money because they're terrible at making money, apparently. They were just bleeding money with the New York Mets and they're morons and good riddance. Don't let the door kick you in the ass on the way out. Actually, you know what? Let it hit you in the ass on the way out. <laughs> I hope it does. Couldn't get them out quicker. So this is going to be my reaction video, of course, to Steve Cohen being the new owner of the New York Mets. I'm going to tell you why this is so big for the Mets fan base, why this is so big for the Mets organization. I'm going to tell you why it couldn't have happened, honestly. At a better time, the Mets getting Steve Cohen right now as their new owner might be the best time thing the Mets have ever done. And I'm also going to just tell you why I'm so happy. Why this is just such, this is good for baseball, honestly. This is really good for baseball. So of course, if you do enjoy this video, you're a happy Mets fan like me, make sure to drop a like. Best way to show your support. Subscribe to the channel if you have not yet done so. If you guys aren't subscribed, click that sub button. It's free. Get in the comments down below. I want to know your guys' opinion as well to Steve Cohen being the new owner of the Mets. Do you like it? Do you hate it? What are your thoughts and opinions? Last but not least, make sure to drop me a follow on Twitter. Instagram, second channel, and Twitch. Links are in the description as always. So let's start off for those of you who may not understand why I'm so excited, why this is such a big thing for Mets fans. The Wilpons were the old owners of the New York Mets. I think since like 2002, the Wilpons have owned the majority of the Mets. And since then, the Mets have been to one World Series and they lost. Otherwise, there's only been like what? 2006, 2015, and 16. I think those were the only other playoff appearances. The Mets have been a joke of a franchise. Majority of the reason besides not having great players is the fact that the Wilpons the leaders of this organization were morons, frauds, and just complete and utter idiots. I mean, Mets fans across the world, every single Mets fan hates the Wilpons. If you're a Mets fan and you like that ownership group, I don't know what to tell you. You must be a Wilpon then because everyone else hates them. They didn't spend money. When they did spend money, they spent it on stupid players. I mean, we can go through the list of terrible, terrible signings that the Mets have made. I'm not even talking about Jason Bay or Jed Lauer. I'm talking about guys like John Roush, Frank Francisco, Chris Young, John Mayberry, the Vargas, the list goes on and on. I mean, we got an agent, Brody, as our GM. I'm pretty confident he's on his way out, but that's not really the point of this video. They have just mismanaged this organization since they took it over in 2002. They spent money once, really. That was for 2006 season. And what do you know? They almost made the World Series when they got Beltron, Delgado. Now, as a New York organization, as a New York franchise, typically it's a hot place to go. But New York is the biggest sports market in the world, and the New York Mets continue to spend like a mid-market team. The fact that they were being outspent by other markets, other franchises who aren't in New York was embarrassing. As a Mets fan, we were always second fiddle to the Yankees, and I'm not saying we're overtaking them. But right now with Steve Cohen, the Mets have the richest owner in Major League Baseball, and I believe his estimated net worth is more than the next three guys combined. Yeah, he's worth like $13 billion, an absurd amount of money. So with the Wilpons cutting payroll, spending less money, just being awful owners, no one likes them. It was hard to really like support the Mets if you weren't someone who could afford to support the Mets. You didn't want to give your hard-earned money to the Wilpons because you knew they weren't going to reinvest in this franchise. They were terrible owners. There's a reason we call them the coupons. They're just always looking for cheap budget moves. Everything about them was cheap. Now with Steve Cohen, the $13 billion man, things should be turning around. He's got the money. He grew up a Mets fan, lifelong Mets fan. It's very much expected that he is going to spend money like a big market team, as the Mets should be. They play in New York. So it's expected that under Steve Cohen's ownership, that the Mets are going to have one of the highest payrolls in the league, that they're going to go out and at least be in conversations with top players. In years past, when guys like Bryce Harper, Manny Machado, Garrett Cole had hit the free agent market, the Mets weren't even a thought. They weren't even getting whispers in there because the Wilpons were so damn cheap, they wouldn't even throw an offer. We lost Zach Wheeler to the Phillies 
over like three million dollars a year we lost daniel murphy to the washington nationals over like what three million dollars a year i mean the mets would lose out on good players because the will ponds were so friggin cheap but now steve cohen he's got that 13 billion dollar net worth he's a mets fan he wants to spend money he's already come out and he started spending money the mets have made two waiver claims since steve cohen has taken over officially as the owner now these aren't big names this is nick tropiano and jacob barnes but the fact of the matter is he came in and within hours he made moves <laughs> i just like i don't know if these moves will be any good I'm not gonna hype him up. Nick Tropiano and Jacob Barnes, thanks for being a Met now. But the fact that Steve Cohen within hours has already made moves to go get players is just a positive sign. Now, I talked about spending money on players. He also spent money on employees of the Mets. But in an initial statement, Steve Cohen listed out some of the things that he plans to do, not only with the organization on the field, but off the field as well. Charitable giving, paying the employees, setting up funds for them. All very good stuff. Basically saying, you to the will ponds here's how you treat your employees here's how you treat the city here's how you treat the people who work for you because the will ponds clearly just didn't treat people properly, but we'll talk about that in a second. So if Steve Cohen's going to donate $17.5 million to the city to make grants for local area small businesses, he wants to help the local area small businesses, the city, recover from this pandemic. $17.5 million. He plans to dramatically increase the giving of the Mets Foundation to charities. In terms of his employees, I'm going to look this way so I can read it exactly what it says. All Mets employees, including unionized groundskeepers, security guards, and engineers will receive reinstituted pre-pandemic salaries as of November 1st, reversing the 5 to 30% salary cut in implemented in March. The value of this commitment is over $7 million. He's giving the employees who got pay cuts money so that they aren't suffering. He didn't have to do this. He came out and said, no, we're going to make this right because the Will Ponds, they did it wrong. I got the money. We're going to pay the people who work for us, treat them properly. And then the last thing that he said was, we will establish a new seasonal employee relief fund under which approximately 1,000 employees who work at the stadium as employees of subcontractors would be eligible to receive $500 per month from November 1st until opening day. The commitment approximately is worth $2.5 million. And while that $500 a month doesn't sound like a lot, it's not enough to live off of. You add that on top of what these people are doing in the off season, it gives them a much more livable wage. And again, Steve Cohen doesn't have to do this. They're not employees of him from that off season time, but he's making sure that he treats his people right. And you've got to tip your cap to him on that. That's a really nice stand up classy move. And that's what an owner should be doing. And Steve Cohen seems to be trying to do that at least. Apparently Noah Syndergaard already has come out and made a comment on it. And I love it. All I plead is that the new owner treats players and personnel in the organization like people and less like expendable commodities. That being said, I couldn't be more excited having the real-life Bobby Axelrod leading the charge. So yeah, in case you guys don't know, Bobby Axelrod, billions, that's apparently based off of Steve Cohen. And the fact that Noah Syndergaard came out and said that he hopes that the new owner treats the players more like people and less like commodities, I mean, like, that just tells you everything you need to know about the Will Ponds. The players, the fans, the managers, everybody hated them, and they're gone. Smell you later. So now, why is it so important that Steve Cohen has taken over the Mets at this time? I talk about how the timing is perfect. Pretty much every single team in Major League Baseball lost money this year. There's been a huge deficit due to the pandemic, no fans in the stands, merchandise, everything. Teams made less money, lost money. So you're seeing teams around the league cutting more players, and they're probably not going to be as aggressive on the free agent market. Guys like Brad Hand, Charlie Morton, we just saw basically taken off the team, and the teams that had them don't want to pay them. This is why it's so great that Steve Cohen has taken over the Mets right now. Teams are going to be cutting payroll. That's very obvious. But for Steve Cohen taking over the Mets, essentially that loss that they took in 2020, I don't want to say he's non-existent, but it really doesn't affect the Mets with Steve Cohen because he's taking over this team now. The Wilpons lost that money for 2020. Cohen's going to have to, of course, make it up, but the deficit is not as hard on Steve Cohen as it's going to be on some of these other owners of other teams. And with guys like Real Muto, Springer, Trevor Bauer on the free agent market, the Mets have to at least be in the conversation for teams that could be in it. And I don't see why they wouldn't be. Teams are going to be spending less money on free agents than they have in the past. But the Mets got a rich owner, the richest in baseball by quite a large margin. I fully expect them to go after Trevor Bauer, George Springer, and JT Real Muto very aggressively this offseason. I don't know if they'll get any of them because, of course, there are still going to be teams that want to go after these guys. But even if they swing and miss on those three, let's say, they're still going to be in the conversation. They're still going to throw their hat in the ring and they can go out and grab other players, other pitchers, other catchers, other outfielders. The Mets no longer have this fake salary cap looming around them. Steve Cohen has the ability to come in and spend money right now. I mean, even in his initial statement, he talked about free agency at the end of it. For him to mention free agency without technically officially taking over the team just screams to me that he's going to be aggressive, he's going to spend money, and he wants the Mets to be a winning team. Why wouldn't you if you owned the organization? Why wouldn't you want them to be successful? Steve Cohen fully feels like he wants the Mets to be the best team in baseball 
and he doesn't care what it costs. He's going to go and get the players that he wants. So not only is he going to spend money and hopefully go get the best players available, make them bets a better team, he is also going to hopefully get a new GM that actually knows how to be a GM. He's got Sandy Alderson in place, which is good because he's a guy who's been around winning organizations. He's a really good guy to have in the front office. Not only will he go get the good players, he's going to help the Mets analytical department, player development, everything. He cares a lot about analytics. I'm not talking about Ray's analytics because of course they're a little bit different, but he wants the Mets to get analytically advanced. And that's something the Mets have been terrible with. Their analytics department is probably one of the worst in the league. He's going to revamp that. He's been successful on Wall Street. He's worth a ton of money. He's just a successful man. He is not going to put this much money into the Mets to not make them successful. He is going to take the steps to make this team one of the best in the league, hopefully. And I cannot wait to see it because in my 24 years of existence, all I can remember is the Wilpons being owners. And there's been very, very few highlights, to say the least. I want my new highlights to be winning it all. I'm trying to have memories of winning World Series, parades, popping champagne, not because the Yankees lose or because we get a new owner. Popping champagne because we win the World Series. That's all I want. I want to win the World Series. And I think having Steve Cohen in here as the new owner of the New York Mets gives us Mets fans the most amount of hope that we've had in a very, very long time and something that we should be very excited about. Uncle Stevie's here. Let's go. Let's go. I'm so pumped. So I'd love to know what you guys think about Steve Cohen taking over as the owner of the New York Mets down in the comment section below. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Let me know your thoughts and opinions. Remember to leave a like on the video if you did enjoy it, as well as subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content. Drop me a follow on Twitter, Instagram, second channel, Twitch. Links as always in the description. And I'm just happy because the Wilpons are gone. Today's a great day. Thank you guys so much for watching. You know the drill from here on out. YouTube recommends you watch this video. This is my most recent upload. Click through those if you have not yet seen them. Steve Cohen's here. The Mets are hopefully back. And by back, I mean just like going to spend like a real baseball team. Regardless, happy days for New York Mets fans. Let's go Mets. And hopefully Steve Cohen leads us to the promised land. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.